brain recognizes it. Then your brain must order your foot to react, and then the brakes must stop the vehicle. Even an alert driver with good brakes on dry pavement can easily outrun his headlights at high speeds. And bad weather conditions or poorly maintained brakes can make it difficult to stop at any speed. Pathfinder gives you the extra time to react to hazards beyond your headlights illumination. While your headlights remain the primary source of illumination, Pathfinder is a supplemental driver's enhancement for anyone who drives at night. As the largest commercial thermal imaging company in the world, FLIR has leveraged years of experience into the development of Pathfinder. The result? A revolutionary nighttime driving aid. You can take confidence in FLIR's thermal imaging systems, just like the U.S. military and thousands of other agencies around the world. FLIR's Pathfinder, making nighttime driving safer. And then on the side, you know, I, I had both TV on this for streaming television. I'm wired for the wireless Fleet. headphones. Is it technology? All data is the one that's talking up to the cloud for telling you what's going on with the vehicle. AAT was the guy that um, was advanced automotive technologies that brought this stuff together. Metra did my control for talking to the radio because we changed the radio head to talk to a kicker amplifier. I got an Alpine. Uh, talking for the uh, satellite radio coming to this. I got Alpine talking to the MP3 on this. Then we got uh, the LCD up in the mirror. And then we have um, also in, in the display here, we have it linked right on the bus for the rear cameras to play right through that as well. So really what we showed is everything that's available today for this connectivity today for someone to do to their vehicle aftermarket and make all these things come together. And then I got mobile eye on this, which is diagnostics built into it to talk and communicate back to the vehicle for other areas on you know, what's going on with other trouble codes and that information. Hey, you can jump in. Um, basically, through a Sprint, we put a MiFi in here so four uh, PCs can link into this vehicle because it's a hotspot by itself. DICE did another connection for us for standalone on other iPods to hook in and play right back into the system. Um, we have AudioVox that did the overhead unit that we end up linking Flow TV back into. So it's kind of like a blend of here's everything that's available today in the and market. Since it detects and as a combination of FEMA, the path line was not affected. The Automotive Aftermarket Association, so we can deal with the service, yeah. and then the Mobile Enhancement Retailers Association, Mira, that now has been bought by InstallerNet. So that's all what's happening with what this vehicle is. Did you try to drive it with Y Max enabled? Uh, well, what in there? There's I, I have a, a, a Wi-Fi on it through the Sprint. Yeah, but on, you, on Wi Fi, you cannot drive and listen to Wi Fi. So, there's where you can get that crap in this part. But I think I have a FEMA show. Like I said, I got a bunch of people talking about safety and productivity. The amount of people talking about safety and productivity. First, distance covered between the time you're buying safety and the time you're buying safety.